Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. As usual we're gonna do a top-down analysis for all the major to help you guys um, get your uh, trading plan in orders for uh, the upcoming week. So while I wrote the intern disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, um, as you see we have a pretty filled um, calendar for the upcoming week. Uh, the US dollar will not be the main driver next week, we do not have much, um, almost nothing of importance coming out from the US, even if we put the medium and the uh, low impact event on this um, calendar, there is, as you see, very uh, on Monday, keep in mind, there is bank holiday for uh, Martin Luther King uh, Day. Uh, so no US market, then we not have anything uh, coming from the US as important, just uh, some small reports at the end of the week, uh, flash service PMI for example. Otherwise everything is about <laughs> everything else, so you need to uh, keep an eye on those markets. So even though um, we're going to do the Dixie, the Dixie will not be the main driver here. We have the uh, BOG on Tuesday, monetary policy statement and Dave, Dave as usual. Uh, we have uh, the CAD, the BOC monetary policy report and the overnight rate, also a press conference which is going to be very important. Thursday from uh, Australia, employment change and unemployment rate to then get the um, uh, main refinancing rate and the monetary policy statement from the ECB. The important event going to be the press conference uh, and to see what uh, Lagarde have in mind. Um, and on Friday, uh, the very important, um, the flash manufacturing, especially from uh, Germany, uh, we're going to get. Uh, a bit of information if we are still slowing there or not as we've been doing so for a while uh, also from um, UK uh, flash manufacturing and uh, services BMI the services BMI is much more important for the UK so keep keep your eyes on this one to then end the week with the core retail sales from uh, Canada so as you see as you see it's a pretty important impact calendar you need to keep an eye on those um, releases if we start with the chart as usual with the Dixie, so what's been going on with the Dixie lately as um, we've been inside this uh, channel to the downside, we've got this uh, move here with the double bottom pushed higher after breaking structure here. So we've been t talking about continuation and we've got that. We broke also another level, another retest and continuation. So, so far this whole move been a healthy downtrend since we broke previous structure as well. but last week what happened so uh, if this would be c considered to be a continuation we were looking for a retest something like this and continuation but what we've got was a um, much much higher move and then we start looking maybe we're gonna see a continuation this time and we kept in mind that yearly pivot point and monthly pivot point as i told you in the previous weekly overview gonna be a very important level and we've got the bounce from here and now we have a, a first higher low on the daily time frame and another higher high since we broke this previous high with uh, the friday candle so the price is trading now in a pretty important area where we have the 200 moving average on the daily previous structure high and this um, uh, trend line uh, coming from above here so for the dollar bulls um, there is a potential continuation since if we look at the bullish momentum here, the bullish candle are much, much stronger. And that could signal that if we break above monthly R1 and this previous high on the Dixie, there is a potential continuation to the upside, maybe all the way to tag these highs. But as I said, the um, maybe the dollar will not be the main driver. So since we have uh, this um, on Thursday for the euro, uh, you need to, to keep in mind because uh, if um, this is going to be uh, something that is uh, going to be bullish for the euro, we may not see that uh, breakout to happening. But since there is like uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday trading days ahead of that, 
you need to uh, watch this level um, uh, carefully. So if we go to the four hour time frame, we see that, uh, as I mentioned in the weekly overview last week, uh, we've been talking about this uh, break. I said, look for the retest of the monthly and yearly pivot point since it is an important level for possible continuation all the way to tag this previous highs. I think this still could be uh, possible. Um, maybe short term correction to then look for that continuation. And again, if we break above this level, we should be looking for continuation to the upside toward the 9850 uh, area that going to be up here. This is going to be a pretty important level to watch if the break above this area happens. Uh, oil. Uh, so oil now tested the 200 moving average on the daily uh, three four days here spent at this area testing without a break below uh, and could also consider to be testing this uh, area of support this trend line could be also a bit like this so uh, basically this trend line is still uh, not broken we do have uh, the test here we do have the test here and we do have the latest test here um, at that same level we also had the 200 moving average as i said and uh, it is a pretty important area because from here uh, also with a oversold rsi on the daily and after such a huge move to the downside there is a potential correction move at least toward the uh, 61 up here at this neckline i think so that is what i'm watching for oil the potential uh, reversal to the upside but before that um, happening i need to see some kind of confirmation so we still have this very narrow range here on oil uh, what we want to see is uh, a strong potential uh, a strong breakout to the upside to then look for retest and maybe continuation toward uh, 61 first as a possible trouble area then 62 and uh, 6230 where we have the neckline of this uh, double top here at this area so um, keep that uh, level uh, on your uh, watch area okay so if this happens happened after um, we having such a nice rounded bottom and if we see this break out we look for a retest and potential continuation to the upside is what I'm looking for on this market. And gold, now gold is going a bit of a sideways as you see here after the break higher. Let's go to the weekly on this one to make a much clearer top down analysis. So we had this uh, breakout, uh, we uh, saw the market breaking above a key uh, structure level here on the weekly uh, the close was actually above this previous high so it is clearly broken even though you have a rejection uh, from this uh, level that you need to keep in mind we have a close above this previous high and on the daily time frame we see it also clearly that we had a couple of days that closed above this previous high to then see that the market after pushing all the way toward the 16 uh, 10 69 area we've got that re uh, rejection so uh, we were looking for the possibility of this happening another correction and continuation toward the 15 15 area before a bounce higher i still consider the 15 15 level down here is an important level of interest interest but uh, still there is no uh, momentum to the downside neither to the upside we we this we see the, the price been squeezing here in this uh, area as you see nothing um, really happening we've been going sideways inside this uh, this little range here so uh, since we do have that um, um, consolidation here we still need to see some kind of confirmation pattern so if we uh, break higher here there is a potential continuation toward this area once again i would say keep keep your eyes at this level if you get uh, a bullish momentum and you you took a long you need to be careful up here because it could be the level where you may see some trouble on the way another way to play it and that is if we break this trend line to uh, try to look for a retest and continuation but keep in mind the low here is an important level unless that is uh, broken like this then we should be looking for a target at around 15 15 to then look for the possible continuation higher on uh, this market yeah so keep an eye on this range that would be uh, your easy play uh, the euro let's look at the weekly time frame so what we have on the weekly time frame actually the the the, the, the primary 
trend on this market is uh, actually bearish looking at it like this we still have lower lows and lower highs then we had another lower high here with uh, no lower low so uh, we did not establish a lower low to keep saying that we're gonna sell this market and maybe close the gap so that was um, the first uh, thing that happened here that we we start getting this higher low but still we see this market is not able to to make a higher high either so there is a risk that we see at least a uh, consolidation here uh, on the weekly time frame as you see there is a potential consolidation and since the the primary trend is uh, bearish and the secondary trend uh, right now is consolidation we still uh, might see a continuation to the downside on this market going to the daily time frame we had this uh, potential move higher and we've been following that we've got some nice trades to the upside and uh, when we had this uh, break above this level there was um, potential continuation so we start looking for a retest and the continuation higher we had a nice bullish day here so uh, there was a potential continuation higher but it ended up to get the day after a bearish engulfing candle a break about a below previous structure low putting uh, printing a lower uh, low than this one here to then uh, push higher again and that is the level I mentioned last week on the weekly time frame that uh, on, if we go to the four hour time frame I've been talking about this uh, structure let's get rid of this I've been talking about this level um, if you remember that this is going to be an important area and the reason for that is these rejections uh, looking left from uh, from uh, previous moves so uh, the euro did reach that top level after a nice uh, lower high and lower low start making this consolidation reach at the important level where we took profit in our trading room and I've been uh, updating the guys all the time that there is a potential move lower from this area and that we should also keep an eye on this uh, consolidation or correction channel that is now broken so uh, the look of it uh, the bears are um, in control at the moment uh, go back to the daily time frame we see that we uh, the price is failing to hold above the 200 moving average once again so we broke above it but we failed to hold above it to then start moving lower yet uh, again and uh, on the four hour time frame i think uh, any break below uh, this low or this low that will signal the continuation to the downside on uh, this market so um, we're, we, we will be looking to sell rallies keep in mind this trend line may give you some troubles on the way but as i said if we break below this previous low here then there is not much on the way until the next support level and maybe even more to the downside toward monthly s2 and this previous area so this trend line gonna be very important and on the short term we had this breakout of this uh, little correct uh, correction channel any retest higher that fails to make a new high sell the rallies of this uh, market sterling also there is there was a potential continuation to the upside after reaching the 1.300 as a good support level um, it bounced higher like three days closed this gap to then on friday it failed uh, totally to move higher so now we have two trend lines uh, we have this trend line that is getting rejected each and every time last week uh, there was an attempt on friday to break but it failed and we have this trend line so uh, yet another squeeze here this trend line been tested four times acting as good support so we need to keep an eye on that one as well and if we look on the four hour time frame you see it clearly here how important this trend line going to be to the downside any break below that could open the way for the continuation move lower toward this area 1.2760 gonna be a uh, possible target and maybe even lower if that got broken if this area got broken then the next structure gonna be all the way down here at around uh, 1.26 uh, as a possible level of um, support as well so uh, this uh, is a pretty important area uh, the uh, 1.300 if it acts support again and we start seeing bullish evidence we need to keep an eye on this previous high if broken then maybe the bulls will push higher otherwise it is more likely to the downside on the sterling usd 
a USD Chappy also on the weekly time frame to to give you a good top down analysis uh, what it's going on on the weekly time frame higher highs higher lows and last week was another higher high that broke the key structure level at around the 109.70 and even above 1 uh, 10 so we have a clear break and close above previous structure on the weekly time frame also break and close above the 200 moving average on the weekly so this is signaling possible continuation to the upside to prim primary close this gap maybe and then to target 112 as a possible structure uh, level that may give uh, the bull some troubles on the way so on the daily time frame we saw it clearly a break shallow retracement a, a possible continuation but there was no break above previous high this no break above previous high could signal that we still may see a correction lower so 109.70 to 109.40 um, down here or 50 um, gonna be uh, a possible uh, reversal level at around the monthly r1 for that continuation higher so we should be looking to buy the dips on this market as you see here on the four hour time frame we do have some kind of um, bearish divergence uh, on these uh, three tops here and uh, we do have uh, some lost momentum so um, there is a potential move lower here but to keep an eye on this 10970 area all the way to uh, monthly r1 still could be a good areas to look for potential reversal to the upside and continuation for the bulls after breaking this major structure New Zealand USD so let's take a look at this one uh, here we had a pretty nice break above this structure never got retested we got uh, a nice strong break we having some kind of correction the question is was what these three three weeks the only correction we're gonna have or we're gonna see that uh, retracement all the way uh, as I've been expecting previously before uh, some kind of bounce so uh, on the on the weekly time frame we're still below the 200 moving average we still did not break the major structure high here we still have actually a major structure low instead so this is the uh, <coughs> that would change the primary trend to the upside it is still to be considered uh, bearish now especially that we uh, broke below this structure but we uh, have never broken below this level uh, down here uh, and um, if we go down to the daily time frame we see that uh, we had a nice rejection from uh, this structure here looking left here this area been acting as pretty strong support and uh, resistance previously and when we reached that level we've got rejected strongly and now been going uh, sideways inside this little range and last friday we uh, got a, a bearish engulfing candle printed uh, but the price is still inside this little range so uh, un unless you see a break out of this range you should be uh, selling uh, highs buying the lows but if you see a break to the downside for example something like this then consider a, con a continuation move maybe to retest this broken structure that we never saw the market retesting another way to play it is to buy this 200 moving average and the bottom of this uh, range uh, look for a potential bullish uh, patterns to then see if we're gonna uh, reach the top of the range for more upside it need to break out of this range to then give you another attempt higher toward this top okay so um depends on how the dixie will do if the dixie breaks higher as i explained earlier then this is potentially to keep pushing to the downside making a bigger correction <coughs> before any continuation higher USD chief also we need to go to the daily time frame to that chart to see what's been happening here so <clears throat> in a bearish trend here as you see with lower lows lower highs another attempt uh, we've got another lower high and then a break on the daily time frame be be below both these levels but if we look at it on the <clears throat> on the weekly time frame we see that the weekly candle did not close uh, below this level so on the weekly it is not broken yet and still there is potential uh, correction higher before any continuation to the downside that risk is still there but as i said on the daily we have a clear break above <coughs> below it and as far as there is no close above this major swing 
this market could still move lower and continue to the downside if we go to the four hour time frame we saw that we had this uh, correction that got broken and now we broke out of this uh, bearish channel to the upside this to still could be some kind of a correction higher and any retest toward this area look for downside move again as i said if there is no break of this structure there is potential continuation to the downside on this market usd cat also uh, <coughs> i am bearish as you know on this market especially that we had this uh, break below um, on the weekly time frame you see that we had this break below uh, this important level here looking left break below the 200 moving average got retested a couple of weeks still failed to break above it daily time frame <coughs> it is also clear a break below we were looking for this structure as a possible bearish uh, area we've got a nice push lower but there was no continuation to say that we're gonna keep pushing to the downside so the market got stuck in a very very narrow range here for the whole week and that is what we should be watching um, <clears throat> looking forward uh, for the next week this is what we should be watching because we may see a break out of this a continuation higher this here will be the first trouble level and if it managed to break higher this will be the next trouble level to then try to look for a sell so uh, longer term i'm still looking to sell this market but short term there is potential that if we break higher here we make some kind of flag and push to the upside keep an eye on this level and this level for potential reversal areas aussie usd also had a potential of a continuation to the upside after this break above the 200 moving average and above all this then it reached a key structure level as you see here and uh, start uh, moving to the downside and when we saw there is a potential continuation higher it fails to make a new high and rejected one more time last week so we are back below the 200 moving average as you see here and um, as far as this market uh, not breaking higher then there is a potential retest of this level down here if this level got taken out next week then there is a potential continuation to the downside so keep an eye on that as you see here uh, on the four hour time frame there was um, lots of trouble here bulls managed to push higher but then failed to make another new high and start moving to the downside once again breaking below the neckline so um, the market objective here is probably a correction to then retest this level and this level down here and if that fails to hold we probably gonna see a continuation to the downside on um, aussie usd as well so um, yeah guys that was it for today thanks a lot and um, see you next week bye bye